Hello, this is Jenny Fern, and today I'd like to talk to y'all about um, planting up these big old garden pots. So um, I had to pick a couple things up from my parents' house, and they had these two larger plastic gardening pots that they were getting rid of. So I took them and um, loaded them up in the car. They're kind of a strange design because there's a lip on the inside that if you try to dump out water from the bottom, uh, it'll just get stuck in that lip. So I'm drilling some additional drainage holes because the water wasn't draining through the bottom of the pot. So I thought these probably need to be a little bit better. <laughs> I'm also putting some gravel into the bottom of each pot. I didn't put a ton of gravel in the bottom of each pot. I probably could have put more um, considering, you know, it helps take up room in a big pot. <laughs> but um, I just did, I don't know, a few inches. Maybe, yeah, maybe like three inches deep of some gravel. This was gravel that I had dug up from some of the flower beds at this house. So it was something that I already had on hand, which is very convenient. Um, so I am not super experienced with gardening in containers like this, or really just pots in general. I've done most of my gardening in the ground um, so I don't really know what the caveats are. I'm a little bit worried that they're more difficult to regulate when it comes to water. So I'm a little bit worried about them drying out, but I think they'll add a little bit of interest and kind of make it look like a real garden. This is my hope, um, that I can kind of give some additional structure to the garden and to make it look a little bit like it's supposed to be there. Because <laughs> um, I've been tending to just put plants on the edges of the yard where you're not really sure if it's grass or if it's weeds or if it's, you know, a flower that's not in bloom yet. <laughs> so here I'm putting in some older oak leaves. These are from like a, I think a live oak, um, and some of them are more degraded than others. I've heard things about oak leaves that maybe they're not super great. They're, they're slow to break down, which is one of the things. Um, and so just know that I'm doing this, but it might not be the best pra practice. <laughs> I'm giving it a shot. It's the leaves that I have, and I wanted to add some filler to these pots. Um, and I thought some degraded leaves would, or decomposing leaves, would be a good addition. So here you can see kind of what they look like. And um, I just filled them up over halfway with leaves and some twigs. And um, this is mostly to help with volume, um, kind of like filler, so that I don't have to use so much potting soil or gardening soil because that is a premium. <laughs> um, I have another bag left, I believe, and I have um, a box of some soil from my old garden and some compost um, kind of mixed in with it. So I don't want to use too much of it, especially if in springtime I'm going to be starting a bunch of seedlings in little containers. I want to be able to put them in something. So I just put a somewhat thin layer of this gardening soil into the top of each of these big containers. You can see it's just just about an inch below the lip of the container there. And I'm just kind of patting it down. I didn't really make make it super compact. 
So I think maybe in the next big rainstorm, we might lose some soil further down into those leaves, which again, might have been a, mis a mistake, but we will see. Um, my plan for these is to get some plants, get some flowers in them, and maybe eventually transplant some sort of cutting or um, some sort of more perennial type thing grown from seed into these. So something like a little citrus tree, like maybe one of the lemon trees, or I don't know, some other small fruit tree, maybe some of the laurel cuttings that I have. But for now, I thought, well, if I have this, maybe the cats won't get into it and I can grow some uh, greens from seed. So I have this scarlet kale that I'm planting into them. I did the same mix of seeds in both of the pots. So some kale, um, just kind of lightly nudging it into the soil, trying to not, you know, bury it too much. <laughs> And then I got out my big bag of beans. I've poured some of the beans from that bean soup mix into this bag so that I can get into it easier and select the beans that I want. I did this for getting those garbanzo beans. And I'm just selecting out some lentils. <laughs> and this is not because I have a lack of lentils growing or popping up throughout the yard, um, but just to add something that maybe could spill over the edge, um, because they do kind of get a little bit bushy and a little bit trailing, I guess. So I'm thinking they might be able to kind of flow out of the outside of this pot, and then also maybe help add some uh, well, I don't know if they'd help add some nitrogen, but just be a nitrogen fixer in this pot. Uh, again, I'm not used to growing in pots, so <laughs> I don't really know how it all works. Um, and then I decided to sprinkle some lettuce seeds, uh, onto the top and just kind of lightly, um, firm them into the surface and I also have some wildflowers, um, some perennial wildflower mix. So I probably put too many of these wildflower seeds in. Um, I'm not sure what all of them are by seed, but some mix. We will see when they pop up, if any of them do what they are. <laughs> It'll be exciting. Um, and then this is like a long-term thing. Um, all the the annuals are obviously short-term thing, but these I'm hoping to have in these pots and then I can put in whatever other perennial I want into the middle of them. And then they can be kind of cute <laughs> and nice. The last step is just to water them in and give them a bit of a drenching with this uh, rainwater that was collected over the previous storms. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, thanks for watching.